just begun to dream. We've just begun to dream. We've just begun to dream. In January, I had, at the time, was the pleasure to meet Brad Rex, who was the vice president of Epcot, and very nice man, enjoyed speaking with him, but, but the one disappointing thing in my interview with him was the fact that he told me that there would not be any public celebration for Epcot's 25th anniversary, and that the only things going on were going to be behind the scenes for cast members. Well, I understood that, I knew from a fan perspective and for Epcot's historical perspective, that was going to be extremely disappointing. We're here because we love Epcot Center, and Epcot Center is celebrating its 25th anniversary, and we decided to have a nice little get-together to celebrate its 25th anniversary. So I thought, well, it'd be nice if we got a bunch of people together to celebrate, so here we all are. I am here as a co-founder and uh, staff member of Celebration 25. We're here today on Sunday, September 30th, leading into October 1st tomorrow. Uh, we're here at the signing tables and we're having a great time meeting everyone. I'm here today with Celebration 25 as one of the organizers because I love Epcot. And I, I really grew up with Epcot. Epcot opened when I was seven and so it's the first park that I remember being to quite a bit and I loved it. It was my favorite park. I think I loved most of the rides. I loved the music the most, I think. And so being here for the 25th anniversary of Epcot is very special to me and I'm glad to be a part of the Celebration 25 committee. Uh, I'm glad to be helping out here this morning and I'm most excited just to be here today. Hey, uh, this is Jeff Pepper. I'm from 2719hyperion.com and I'm here celebrating the 25th anniversary of Epcot Center. I visited here 25 years ago right before it opened and I'm back. I really love Epcot. It's one of my favorite places to be in Walt Disney World. It represents a great deal to me and just to the Walt Disney Company at large and we're really happy to be here to celebrate. Hi, this is Lou Mangiello. I'm the author of the Walt Disney World Trivia Books. I'm also the host of the WDW Radio Show and I'm really excited to be part of Celebration 25 and to be a part of the Epcot Rededication Ceremony. I think Epcot is such an important park for so many reasons, not just because it was the first park built after the Magic Kingdoms, but because it still seems to carry on even 25 years later Walt's original vision of working together as a community to build a better tomorrow and what the promise of tomorrow means for all of us as a united people and while this might, may not have been Walt's original vision I still think it carries on his dream to a certain degree and uh, the 25th anniversary really is an exciting event that I'm just happy to be here for. This is Julie Saunders. I'm so happy to be here. Epcot means a lot to me. I actually visited down here on in May of 82 when Epcot was being built. Unfortunately I couldn't come in but it just sparked that interest in me um, way back then and I knew from that point that I would have to be here on the 25th anniversary. I'm especially delighted to be here with this group of fans from Celebration 25 who have put so much passion into organizing this event and making sure that we all come together to celebrate this wonderful park that celebrates communication, creativity, and innovation. I came here to Epcot today because Celebration 25 is going on and I think it's an extraordinary event to put on for Epcot's 25th anniversary just because I don't think Epcot really acknowledge it as much as they should have. I think Celebration 25 is really the right way to go with the Epcot's 25th anniversary and I'd like to thank Adam Roth and all, all the crew that are putting on this wonderful event. I'm just so excited to be here at Epcot's 25th anniversary. It kind of broke the mold you know for for parks. It wasn't your Magic Kingdom style you know and the geek like I am you know I love you know different ways that uh, the Imagineers can teach you, you know, World of Motion, Horizons, you know, my personal favorite Horizons right there, you know, it was so cool just to be young and 
to say, wow, that's maybe how I might live when I get older. And Epcot has grown and to see it now and just to be here is such an honor and I'm just so excited. So uh, that's my whole, my whole uh, thing on Epcot Center and I hope to see it grow and continue on into the future. I've been coming here with my mom for, since 1984. Um, I loved it. I uh, decided to become an engineer partly because of it, especially Horizons. Got to represent Horizons. I'm very happy to be here celebrating Epcot's 25th anniversary. I've been coming to Epcot for, gosh, many, many years now since I was very young. Um, I'm just old enough to be, uh, <laughs> be around since Epcot was open. And I wish I had been here on opening day, but it's great to be here over the 25th. I have a lot of fond memories of attractions that aren't here anymore, unfortunately, Horizons especially. But I am looking forward to many, many years to come of a lot of great edutainment to come out of Epcot and let's hope for the best for the future. I'm here today because the park is great. It's the continuation of decades of dreams. You look back at the 1939 World's Fair, you had a big huge ball, the Trotvine and the Parisphere that people went in. You go into the 1964 World's Fair, you had the Unisphere, now you go into 1982, the World's Fair for the next generation, and Epcot, Spaceship Earth, gorgeous place and just a neat place, a celebration of the world and its people. I really enjoy it and always have fun here. This is Jamie and Molly and Kylie and Jack and I'm Chris and we're from Port Orange, Florida and uh, we're happy to be here today. We're happy to be here to celebrate Epcot's 25th anniversary. Um, I was here 25 years ago and my wife and I honeymooned here. We're a Disney family. Uh, I wrote my PhD on Disney theme parks. So this is a celebration for us in many ways. We're excited about the past, we're celebrating the past, we're also celebrating the future and what comes next, both for us and for Epcot. We were talking about this yesterday and my first memory of Epcot is Kitchen Cabaret. Um, so I don't know if that's a good or a bad <laughs> thing, but that's what I remember and it's just nice to come back as an adult and see some of the same things and see things that are new. So, yeah. And um, I think that's it for everybody. It seems like you've come here as a child, you've come with your family, you have great memories of being here with your parents and just the nostalgia of it. Here we are at Epcot on Sunday the 30th and I've just met Adam, I've just met John. We're here for tomorrow for the big day. I'm Martin Smith from Manchester, England and I'm just really glad to be a part of this day which is going to be a day to remember forever. So thanks to Adam for all his hard work over the months. The day has been building up and building up and now it's finally here. And we're all going to be a part of it. We're all going to remember it for a very long time. So to everyone involved, from me and from everyone else, thank you.